This OPR replacement front wheel bearing and hub assembly is for those of you that have a 1999 to 2006 TJ that need to replace your bearing or your hub and want something that's going to be all one piece here. You can of course buy a wheel bearing, but then you're pressing an old bearing out, pressing a new one in. For the cost of this entire assembly, this is the way to go. I've replaced them on my TJ. This is definitely going to be a lot easier than swapping out the bearing itself. So I definitely recommend going with an option like this. Do make sure that you get the right year range hub assembly for your TJ. From 99 and up is going to be this one. There's going to be another one for the older TJs. They did change things up a little bit. You'll know that if you've changed out the, uh, the front brake rotors on your TJ, those are going to be a little bit of a different depth. So just make sure everything coincides with the year of your Jeep, or at least the year of the axle that's under your Jeep if you've done an axle swap, make sure everything's going to work very well together. So this is going to be something that is going to be pretty easy to install. I'm gonna give it a two out of three wrenches because it's a little bit involved, but overall, a lot simpler than pressing a bearing in and out and um, is going to still be very much a bolt-on installation. One of the hardest parts about this whole process is getting the old hub off of the end of the axle, but there's a little bit of a trick to that as well that we'll get to. Give yourself probably an hour or more per side when you're doing this, because again, there's some disassembly, there's some reassembly, you wanna be able to take your time with this, but we'll talk more about the installation in just a second. So like I said, this is gonna be the way to go if you have a bad wheel bearing. Get the whole hub assembly much, much easier to install. Now, if you're particular about the type of bearing used in your hub assembly, there are some manufacturers out there that will say we use Timken bearings. We use this bearing, that bearing. OPR doesn't have any information on specifically what type of bearing is in here, but OPR makes a high quality piece. This is going to be something that will hold up pretty well for you and is going to work very, very nicely and is also going to be a direct replacement. It's going to be uh, one of the less expensive hubs out there for you. So, you know, if you want something that is one of those premium brand bearings and you want to spend a little bit more money, you have a little bit of a higher budget, those options are out there. If you're looking for something a little bit less expensive that's still going to be quality, this is going to be a nice choice. As for construction, not a lot to say about this thing. It's going to be very similar to your factory hub assembly. Uh, comes with the bearing installed in it. It's got all of your seals. It's got all of your, your wheel studs installed. Everything is there for you. You really just have to pop the old unit off and install it. This is going to be a strong two out of three wrench installation. There is a good bit of disassembly of the front axle necessary in order to get this installed. So not all of you are gonna to wanna to tackle this in your driveway, but if you do, the first step is going to be removing the tires and the brake system completely. That will allow you to pull the axle shaft out of the way. Then you can go ahead and unbolt the hub assembly, install your new one, and reverse the installation by installing the axle, the brakes, and finally the tire. I mentioned this is going to be one of the less expensive options that you're gonna find for an entire hub assembly. These ones come in at just over $50, which again, pretty good deal, pretty inexpensive. If you want one of those premium brand bearings, those options are out there. They're gonna cost you a little bit more, but this is still going to be a very high quality option at a low price. So if you have a bad wheel bearing, you wanna swap out the whole hub because it's so much easier than pressing bearings in and out, I definitely recommend taking a look at this option from OPR and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.